when the illegal photos of Nancy started circulating and the K-pop community exploded, we didn't have much info besides the photos themselves. It appears as though during the 2019 Asia Artist Awards held in Vietnam, someone with backstage access was able to set up a camera where she was changing. Apparently, the photos looked like they were taken but a few steps away from Nancy as she was changing. More and more info began to come out as it is said whoever took these photos posted them in a Discord server with over 500 people. The next thing you know, the pictures made their way over to Twitter and who knows where. MLD Entertainment then revealed even more information when they came out with a statement saying they will take strong legal actions against the individual who not only took these photos but also spread doctored and manipulated photos of Nancy. Their statement highlighted the fact that Nancy cried and was psychologically affected by what is happening. The committee behind the 2019 Asia Artist Awards then came out with an apology saying they feel responsible for the incident. Although some people pointed out that they apologized to Nancy's fans rather than Nancy herself, this whole thing has fueled the flames against deepfake technology as well. Going as far as a petition with over 160,000 signatures on the Blue House bulletin board. Because while there are those who use it for fun, entertaining things like seeing what it would have looked like to have Chewie in the drama startup, many out there are using it in a much more inappropriate, invasive, violating way. There was even a study that showed 25% of deepfake victims globally are female K-pop idols. The sad part is that Nancy may never feel comfortable backstage again. How do you shake off this feeling of vulnerability? The sad part is that prior to this, Nancy already said instead of her singing or dancing, all the comments she read about herself were already solely about her body. Think about it. This situation sadly just amplifies that even more now when she is so much more and has so much talent to offer. Am I the person you thought I was? I mean like, too deep, sorry. I think every K-pop idol, especially female idols, deal with so much attention solely on their bodies. Just recently, a website received a bunch of backlash for an article titled, Didn't Jenny Gain Weight? On top of blurring this photo to really hook people in, which turned out to just be this photo from her Instagram. The backlash against the article is due to the general consensus that, uh, Jenny looks the same as she always does. How much skinnier do you want her to be? Her cheeks have always been a part of her beauty and charm, and who cares if she gains weight? Let the girl eat. I shouldn't have to eat in fear. <laughs> and while MLD Entertainment is trying to find, punish, and expose these disgusting human beings, trying to prevent these photos from spreading even further, it seems like JYP Entertainment is getting more and more exposed. If you still need further proof that JYP Entertainment mistreated GOT7, look no further than Mark's father responding to a user-written article on All K-Pop detailing their mistreatment in the last seven years with with two simple words, the truth. I want the truth. Now, like we said in the last video, GOT7 is not leaving fans. GOT7 is not leaving GOT7. GOT7 is merely leaving JYP Entertainment. But the understandable concern is, will they be able to come back together under the name GOT7? Well, this week, it started going around that according to the Fair Trade Commission, the revised trademark law requires JYP Entertainment to transfer the trademark registration and use rights at the end of the contract period, meaning they can very well regroup as GOT7. Now, I don't know how true this piece of information is. Like, what about their stage names or fandom name? What about their songs? But we might have a reason to believe it's true. Don't give me hope. Bam Bam has been really active on Twitter lately, and one of the things he has adamantly assured fans is that the guys are not going anywhere. That GOT7 is still very much alive. Not only that, but the day before the reports of GOT7 not resigning exploded, Jin Young, at the Golden Disc Awards, knowing they were not going to resign, intentionally said, we. GOT7 will always come back with good albums and music. With him knowing what he knew, he has to know something, you know? Now I know 
Now I know. Another group who will this year hit that seven year mark and may also have to decide on contract renewal is Red Velvet. Although, if you remember back in October when all the news regarding Irene came out, many people thought and feared that may have been the end of Red Velvet. However, months later, Wendy is finally back and healthy. They all performed at SM's online concert and that fear has disappeared. I think that's why Irene took this opportunity to address the situation one more time, apologize once again to begin 2021 with a fresh start. She stated that she's nervous. She apologized once again for her imperfections, as she says. Irene explained the little entertainment bubble that she's surrounded by and how she wasn't aware her methods of communication could have been a problem, but that she's working hard to, quote, not return the way I used to be. She also doesn't want people to continually go after the other part as that has been in headlines lately as well. The part she's being criticized for is the portion where she mentions method of communication. Some are saying that it sounds like she's ignoring the real problem by implying it's a method of communication. Obviously, there is still animosity toward Irene out there, but the general reaction I've seen the most is that, hey, if the other person involved has forgiven Irene, then we will too and continue to support her as she seeks to redeem herself from here on out. Someone else who looks to be kicking off their redemption tour, although there seems to be nothing for him to redeem himself from, is B.I. Since his departure from Icon, he's been doing countless charities and volunteer work, became a company executive. Executive, and now it has officially been confirmed by Tablo, B.I. will be making his return to music in almost a year and a half in Epic High's upcoming album. If you look right here. There he is, and to make this announcement even sweeter, the hoodie that he's wearing is one that was gifted to him by fans. And then, soon after that announcement, Bobby announces he's coming back soon. I can only hope that there's- Oh, never mind. Don't give me hope. Now that the year has really kicked into gear with comebacks like this, Idol, Treasure, and more, follow me on Instagram if you'd like to vote on which music video I should break down and do a theory on. You know, if you're the kind of person that likes to watch music videos and then be able to say, Now I know, now I know.